Then Jesus said, How can I show you what the kingdom of God is like? What story can I use to explain it? The kingdom of God is like a mustard seed, the smallest seed you plant in the ground. But when planted, this seed grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants. It produces large branches and the wild birds can make nests in its shade. Well, welcome back to the rectory garden. I'm showing you another little part of my garden. I've got an orchard in my garden. There are four or five really lovely trees. But during lockdown, I've planted a new tree. And I don't know, can you see that it's just starting to produce its first little apples. There's a story in the Bible where Jesus talks about the tiny, tiny, tiny little mustard seed. And he said that when a mustard seed is planted in the ground, it can grow up to become a tree. Now this tree has only just been put in and it's a very, very small tree. But can you see the tree behind it and how much bigger this tree is here? This tree's been here so much longer and it says in the story that when that little tiny mustard seed is planted in the ground, it becomes a big tree that the birds can perch in. And can you see, I've got, just in my tree, somewhere for the birds to come and, and be fed, so that they can come and get some grain. So I'm looking after the birds in my garden by having this lovely tree that they can take shelter in. And there's some lovely shade that I can enjoy as well. Now when Jesus was talking about the tree, he was saying it's a bit like us in our lives that we can believe in God and we can believe that God can do good things in our lives. I think that's been something of the theme that I've been talking about while I've been walking around my garden and showing you my garden. But I want to encourage you today to believe in yourself, to believe that you can become something that will be really good and useful and strong, like this tree. Something that will help people. I wonder if you've thought about what job you might do, what you might like to grow up and become. I wonder if your teachers, when they were young, did they think that they were going to become teachers? Maybe they had something else that they dreamed of becoming. But they grew up, they made the most of all the opportunities that were given to them and they became your teacher. When I was young, I didn't necessarily think I was going to be a vicar working in a church, but I always knew that I wanted to do something that would help people. So this morning, I just want to encourage you to think about how you can make the best of everything that you are learning so that you can become big and strong, so that you can help other people and can provide help to those around you as you're growing up and once you've grown up.